equations of kinematics in two dimensions. To understand how displacement, velocity, and acceleration are applied to two-dimensional motion, consider a spacecraft equipped with two engines. Here's the first engine, and it's, uh, at the lower part, and the second engine at the left side or at the back of the spacecraft. So these two engines are mounted perpendicularly to each other. If both engines of the spacecraft are firing at the same time, the resulting motion takes place in part along the x-axis and in part along the y-axis. The thrust of each engine gives a vehicle a corresponding acceleration component. The X engine accelerate the crop in the X direction and cause a change in the component of the velocity. Likewise, the Y engine causes a change in the Y component. It is important to realize that the X part of the motion occurs exactly as it would if the Y part did not occur at all. Similarly, the Y part of the motion occurs exactly as it would if the X part of the motion did not exist. So in other words, the X and Y motions are independent. With each other. So here, our equations of kinematics for constant acceleration in two-dimensional motions. So for x component, our position is x, acceleration is ax, final velocity is vx, initial velocity is v not x, and elapsed time t. And here, our four motion equation with constant acceleration. And in the right side, we have the y direction motion, which is represented by y component or y for its composition, ay per acceleration, by per final velocity, v not y for initial velocity and time. And here's the four motion equation along the y-axis. Let's have an example. So in the figure to be, pres uh, to be presented in the next slide, the directions to the right and upward are the positive direction.
In the X direction, the spacecraft has an initial velocity of V0 22 meter per second and on and an acceleration component of 24 meter per second squared. If the in the y direction, the analogous quantities are V naught Y is 14 meter per second. And acceleration y is 12 meter per second squared. At a time of seven seconds, find A, the the x and y component of the spacecraft displacement, and B, find the final velocity. So here's our this, um, illustration. So let's state the given. We have the initial velocity for x direction, which is 22 meter per second. Acceleration of 24 meter per second. For y direction, we have the initial y velocity of 40 meter per second and acceleration of 12 meter per second at time 7 seconds. So we're looking for A. X and Y component of the displacement. And B, the final velocity with magnitude and direction at a time T, which is seven seconds. So, so when we are looking for final velocity, it includes the magnitude, and direction, unless otherwise it was stated in the problem that it is just looking for magnitude. So you, we can just give the final velocity in magnitude only. But since in our problem it, it is not stated, it, either it should have direction, it just state that we should have the final velocity, then the, mag the magnitude and direction must be present in the final answer. Okay, so let's solve our problem for letter A. We are looking for the X and Y component and using the, the motion equation, what equation should we use to find the X component of the displacement? So we can use x minus x naught is equal to v naught x t plus one half a t squared. So x minus x naught is the displacement. Then we have um, substitute the value. Okay, therefore, our x component displacement is 742 meter. And for y component, we're going to use the same formula for this one. And instead of, y, of x, we're going to use y as it is directed in y direction.
Therefore, our y component is 392 meter. For letter V, V, we're looking for the final velocity. So to solve for this one, we have to find first its component, Vx, final Vx, and final Vy. To solve for Vx, use the equation v not x plus axt, which is equal to 22 meter per second plus 24 Therefore, we have 190 meter per seconds. This is for Vx. And for Vy, same equation. Therefore, our Vy is 98 meter per seconds. And using Pythagorean theorem, which is V is equal to square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared, then our final velocity is 213.78 meter per seconds. And for the direction, theta is equal to the arc tangent of the Y component over the x component. Therefore, our angle is 27.28 degrees. So here's our final answer.